It's Friday, February 15th, 2013. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. Mark your calendars, we have several exciting events coming up. This weekend, the UTEP men's basketball team will face UCF at 7 p.m. at the Don Haskins Center. The women will also face UCF, but on the road in Orlando. The university will celebrate President's Day with the dedication of the new flagpole near the psychology building. The new location, lighting system, and elevation above the planned Centennial Plaza will make it a highly visible landmark. Tuesday, UTEP will mark the grand opening of the Research and Academic Data Center and the Research Cloud. The center is home to UTEP's high-performance computing equipment, giving faculty members the resources they need to perform high-capacity computing. Its recent expansion and relocation allow for greater access, more equipment, and a wider variety of services, including remote or cloud access to computing processes and disaster recovery backup systems. IBM Distinguished Engineer and Master Inventor Romelia Flores will be on campus for the grand opening after which she'll kick off the Spring Centennial Lecture Series at the Undergraduate Learning Center. Her lecture, How Smarter Hits the Streets, Technology Enabling Today's Cities, will be free and open to the public. According to recent studies by Dr. Mahesh Narayan, UTEP Associate Professor of Chemistry, a spice in your pantry may hold the key to Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease prevention. Narayan is researching the molecular capabilities of components within turmeric, almond oil, neem, and the El Paso area creosote bush. He's looking at their abilities to prevent the sporadic onset of neurodegenerative diseases as opposed to disease onset linked to genetics. Studies are supported by funding from the Alzheimer's Disease Research Foundation. A big congratulations to UTEP President Diana Natalicio on her 25th anniversary as president of the university. She's the longest serving current president in the University of Texas system and one of the longest serving female presidents of any public university in the nation. In March, Dr. Natalicio will take over as chair of the American Council on Education. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!